Hmm. I'm Jeff Smoot, VP of Motion Control at CUI, and today we're in the CUI Engineering Lab, and we're going to compare the alignment procedure of the AMT31 commutation encoder versus an optical encoder. Properly installing and aligning a commutation encoder onto a brushless DC motor has historically been a tedious and time-consuming process. In this video, we will compare and contrast the process of aligning an optical encoder with the fast and simple process of aligning the AMT31 series commutation encoder. What we have here is an optical encoder that we've mounted to this brushless DC motor. We followed the manufacturer's instructions for attaching the encoder to the motor. Once the windings have been locked into place, the encoder disc then needs to be adjusted to get as close as possible to proper alignment. Next, you need to take the motor and encoder over to a back EMF fixture. At the back EMF fixture, you'll need a power supply, an oscilloscope, and during that process, you iteratively adjust the encoder disc until you get a proper aligned back EMF signal. This process can take 10 to 15 minutes to complete. Once completed, the motor and encoder can then go back to the assembly line. This 10 to 15 minute process in mass production can be a significant cost adder to the manufacturing process. Now I'm going to demonstrate the very simple process of aligning an AMT31 commutation encoder to this brushless DC motor. First step is to take the AMT31 encoder housing and snap it into place on the base that I've already mounted. Next I'll take tool C to set the height of the rotor inside the encoder. Once mounted, I'm going to energize phase one and phase two of this brushless DC motor to lock the windings in place. Now that the windings have been locked into place, I'm going to align the encoder. I can use the AMT viewpoint software or a serial UART command could be sent down to the encoder to align. Today I'm going to show alignment using our one touch zero alignment module. Turn the module on, plug it into the encoder, check for link that we've got proper communication with the encoder, press the alignment button, and I've aligned this encoder. Now that we've aligned this encoder to this brushless DC motor, I'm going to connect it to our motor driver and show you that we've properly aligned it and the motor will spin as expected. As we've demonstrated, installing and aligning a commutation encoder onto a motor doesn't need to slow down your assembly line. With the AMT31 series and its innovative one touch zero module, we've reduced this process from minutes to seconds. If you'd like to know more about CUI's AMT series of encoders, please visit our website, cuy.com.